That's not how you skin a rabbit. I know how to skin a rabbit. Not by the looks of it. You grow up north of the wall. You'll learn the proper way to handle game. I didn't see any game before I got here. If I had a bow, I could have shot a dozen rabbits. Well, I made this bow myself. Guess you don't learn how to do that north of the wall. You learn how to use your fists, though. Oh, you're going to punch the rabbits to death? I had someone else in mind. Well, someone else is sitting right here. You're both very good at skinning rabbits. Some of us are just a little better. Well, some of us would say thank you when someone else hunts down their breakfast for them. Why don't they teach you to say thank you north of the wall? You've got a big mouth, girl. And too many teeth. Stop it! Hmm. You've been up. fighting since you met. Just stop it. Lady Reed has got a stick so far up her ass, it's a wonder her feet touch the ground. You've been nasty to her every day. Of course she's nasty back. Me? It's my fault. First time I met her, she put a knife to my throat. First time I met you, you held a knife at me. We can't fight each other. We'll never make it to the wall. I want you both to make peace. Your way of skinning rabbits is quicker than mine. I said so, didn't I? Osha! Oh, sure. You're a good little hunter. Thank you. See? Not so hard, is it? Thank you. Don't push me. <laughs> I'm right here with you. What's happening? I'm right here with you. What's wrong with him? The visions take their toll. He's having one now. John Snow. You saw him? At Castle Black? He was on the wrong side of the wall. He was surrounded by enemies. What's he going on about? And how come he always gets to sit and chat? while we do all the work. Hold on. That's where we are. What are you we... telling him? It's all right, Usher. It's not all right. You think I can't hear you every day, filling his head with black magic, talking about visions and three-eyed ravens and worse. Leave him alone. He can speak for himself. I don't fill his head with anything. So what do you talk about? What's happening to him and what that means. Go on, then. Tell us what it means. It's not like that. I wish I could tell him all the answers. It would be much easier. I don't want you talking to him anymore until we get to your brother at Castle Black. We're not going to Castle Black. What did you say? I told you already. Jon Snow isn't there. Bran needs to find the raven beyond the wall. Oh, no, I'm not going back there. Your brother is at Castle Black. That's where we're going. Look at me. Raven's been coming to me ever since I fell from that tower. He wants me to find him. I don't have my legs anymore. This is what I have now. You have a family. You need to go back to Castle Black so you can get back to them, where you belong. What if I belong in the north? What if I fell from that tower for a reason? Is that what he's telling you? But it's all for a reason. All these bad things happen because the gods got big plans for you. I wish it were true, little lord, but the gods wouldn't spare Raven's cold shit for you or me or anyone. You don't understand. You don't know. You don't know. None of you know. None of you have been up there. 
I had a man once, a good man. Bruni, his name was. I was his, and he was mine. But one night, Bruni disappears. People said he left me, but I knew him. He'd never leave me, not for long. I knew he'd come back, and he did. He came in through the back of the hood. Only it wasn't Bruni, not really. His skin was pale, like a dead man's. His eyes bluer than clear sky. He came at me, grabbed me by the neck, and squeezed so hard I could feel the life slipping out of me. I don't know how I got the knife, but when I did, I stuck it deep into his heart. And he hardly seemed to notice. I had to burn our hut down with him inside. I didn't ask the gods what it meant. I didn't need to. I already knew. It meant the North was no place for men to be. Not anymore. I promised your maester I'd get you to Castle Black and no further. Gifts, I think. Brandon the Builder gave all this land south of the wall to the Night's Watch for their sustenance and support. Maester Lewin taught me that. Doesn't seem to be supporting anyone at the moment. It's good land and there's no war up here. Why leave? Wildlings. Sorry. But they come over the wall and raid, steal, carry off women. Old Nan said they turn your skull into a cup and make you drink your own blood from it. That's what old Nan said. There's a storm coming. I don't see any. It's as good a place to shelter as any. We can drink some blood while we wait. I don't need much. How are we going to get past the wall? My uncle said it's 700 feet high. How did you get past it? What's in a bolt and roll past the Bay of Seals? Take us two months to get to the Bay of Seals. Some climb straight up the ice. Even Odor's not strong enough to climb the wall with me on his back. Hold on. Nineteen castles guard the wall. Only three are still manned. Hold on. One of those abandoned fortresses will give us a way through. My uncle said the gates were sealed with ice and stone and the castles were deserted. Oh, we'll have to open them up again. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's a writer out there. Just one. There's more. Hold on. It's just thunder, sweet giant. Wildlings. Where's Jackie Dog in summer? The hunting. Hold on! Quiet, hold on. Hold on! Make him shut up. If they hear us. Hush, hold on. No, no more hold on. Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on. Calm down. Hold on! Hold on! They're gonna hear us. Hold on! Nothing. I don't 
What's that? That's a horse dying. 